the harsh truth about solar powered systems are they're expensive. So what we realize trying to keep up with this heat is running our AC is draining this at a significant speed. Um, even with the four solar panels that we have only rated for 440 watts a piece, it's not bringing in enough compared to what we're pulling. So our solution was to expand the battery system um, to be able to charge just at a steady rate at the same rate as the amount that we're pulling. So we looked into the Solix um, expansion packs. And for the Solix F3800, and those are about $2,500 a piece, right? And based on our calculations, we would need several of those to pretty much be at full reciprocity where we could just run everything during the day off solar. Um, so that seemed like the not the best option for us financially at that time. So we came across these, these lithium rechargeable battery packs. So we got this is we got this off of Amazon for I think it was like seven hundred dollars. Okay, so the price point of these you can depending on the brand you can pretty much get the lithium batteries from Amazon from anywhere from six hundred to twelve hundred dollars versus the Anchor Solix expansion battery packs they're running about twenty five hundred dollars a piece. And so now we're going to talk about the installation of this. Fairly simple installation. It's if you ever connected a car battery is pretty much the same thing so you're going to use your positive terminal you're going to connect your positive cable to the positive terminal negative cable to the negative terminal and you're going to use the anderson connect uh cords you can get these off of amazon as well we'll leave a link in the description it's a simple plug and play uh solution the anderson uh, connect that uh is compatible with the battery comes with the 30 amp fuse here so what you're going to do is you're going to simply connect the Anderson cable. It's a two-part system. You're also going to need the Anderson cable that is compatible to your solar hookup. For us, it's the XT60 um, cables what we use. And so it's a simple, like I said, plug and play solution. What you're going to do is hook that up. And what this is, you're going to plug it into your solar intake uh, port. All right, so what this does, um, like you said, we have our connections and it's in parallel with our outside solar grid system that's hooked up. So like we said earlier, those are 440 watt panels for those are pulling in at best about, what you think, 800? 800 to 1,000. 800 to 1,000 at maximum exposure. Maximum at the I'm best time tired. of the day. Huh, I'm tired. Well, go lay down, I'm coming. All right, so like we said, maybe maybe 800. So what this does is supplement that. It runs in parallel, so it's pulling from both systems at the same time. So if we're getting uh, 800 here, this will supplement us uh, the extra whatever we need to make sure we're running efficiently. Now, the maximum input that this can take in is 2,400. Yep, 2,400 So watts. even if uh, we had a full grid system out there that could pull in 16,000, watts at during the day this can only pull in or take in up to 2400 so with this at best right now i believe this gives us about a steady anywhere from a thousand to 1500 uh watts coming in so what we're going to do is conduct a load test and then we'll let you know how that works we have the dog's ac a deep freezer outside and our water pump pulling uh i mean pulling from this right now and so if we take a look here that's about 585 watts coming from those three appliances we're currently bringing in 1661 watts which is more than enough to keep this at 99 percent so as long as your input is greater than your output you're pretty much at a steady pace and your battery will not deplete at this moment just for reference we've had the appliances hooked up for what about 40 45 minutes now yeah yep. and it's been at 99 percent this whole time right and so really the only with it being so steady like that the only um the only variable in this situation would be the the lithium battery power itself and so right now it's at about 42 percent it's like we mentioned earlier so if we are for a quick if we're bringing in 1,665 watts, 
the power on this is 1184 watts okay so that means our solar panel is bringing in about 380 something something in there so this right now is doing more work than the solar panels which it should be we're at 42 percent on this so what we're going to do is for the rest of the day just keep an eye on it with those three appliances hooked up and we'll see uh how long it takes to drain this battery now when the lithium battery depletes we have this charger battery charger okay and so with this it's just it's a simple what is this 110 120, 120 um plug in right here we would just plug this into here but of course we can't run it from here we would just cut on our gas generator until we charge this battery here which according to uh the instructions it only takes about two hours to charge so that is going to save us tremendously in gas um ultimately what we would like to do is purchase another battery just you know you can never have too much power so we purchase another battery and see you know conduct more tests and just see how much load we can have or we can pull um based off of that but throughout the day we're gonna just add different things to the battery and just see just kind of test it and see where we're at hopefully we're able to run all of our appliances off of it uh, both ac units um and the dog's ac and they're just everything we use hopefully we're able to run it off of this uh, the end goal in mind is to be able to have a system that's uh, bulky enough to run an entire home. So when we build our home, we would also like to, you know, run that off of our solar setup. Say we need some concrete today. I will not be defeated by the wind again. Got us a slab poured and I'm anchoring my gazebo down. I will not lose another tent because I'm not buying anymore because it cannot withstand the tone of our winds. So we gave Irami another try. It wasn't their fault the last time in the first place because it was a nice tent, but their gazebos, super nice. Oh, there we go, some strong winds coming in right now. We didn't get the bottom in the ground yet, but I figured, hey, we have to have some type of shade. Also, the tents was providing extra coverage for this side of the RV, which gets pummeled in the evening time by the sun, so we should be good to go. Shadow, my boy. Of course, they wouldn't be dogs. They didn't act like them. So, we get a new AC. Basil wouldn't dare let you chew up her AC though. They in there cooling. It's probably 70 degrees in here. Huh, Basil? Yeah. Uh. 
eyes open. You better get that. You better back up. Cheese. Cheese. Gia, put it. I had my shoes sitting outside. They melted. They came apart. Mm-hmm. So those of you that like them tennis shoes, mine too. Look at that peeling. That sun don't play. That sun don't play. We got a little a little thing for our shoes. We leave them outside. I bought her two pair of, uh, of slides. The little foam slides. Man. They miniature size now. Come back, Jordan. Uh oh. There you go. Go, girl. Go, Jordan. Yeah, I'm sure this video right here is all over the place. We started out talking about solar. We can finish up the solar. Then you want to tell them about the solar? What you want to tell? Them? Okay. Bet. Okay. Bet. What you want to tell them about the solar? To bring everything over, to bring everything full circle. Okay, Gia, just wait. I mean, if you got money, it's the way to go. We got to run away. Oh. Come back, Jordan. What you were saying about the solar? If you have money, you know, and time. It's the way to go. In the middle of the summer in 150 degrees. Okay, wait. Get you a gas power. Now, in the in the cooler months. Don't shoot the kids. In the cooler months, that's the way to go. It lasts all day long. So if you have to pull two or three HP, almost feel like wasting money. But it's not, you know. It is what it is, man. You do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. So if you could do, if you could do it all over again with your solar, as far as power moving off grid, what would you do? Probably buy, do a little bit more research as far as like getting it to operate in full reciprocity. Cause you know, you watch too many videos. I just blame myself. I didn't do enough research. I thought, oh, we get this and a couple panels. But at the same time, when we moved here, it was cooler, so it was doing its job. And um. Does its job. So if you could move out, if you could do it all over again, if you, the first thought that come to your mind about moving out grid, you just start buying panels and getting batteries and stuff like that. Or yeah, I mean it's a it's a process. You're gonna have to like probably accumulate more as you go. Like unless you just have you know fifteen thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars laying around that you can just throw at some solar. Yeah, but, um, yeah, buy it as you go. Buy it throughout the summer. I mean, buy it in the winter time so you can be ready for the summer. Yeah. Uh, I think it's important that, you know, you got to know your climate, man. For us in Arizona, I mean, from May to probably early October, it's not going to be a single day where you're not running your air conditioning. So, you know, you got to keep that AC going. So with that in mind, you're definitely going to want to uh, prepare power-wise for that. And if you got a gas generator, just know gas going to be one of your higher bills. In Arizona right now, gas fluctuating anywhere from 330 to 359, 360. So, yeah. Be prepared. It has many moons. Jupiter has many moons. Yes, and, and it brings her to Earth, and they share with them, and she was so very happy in the Earth, and the sun, it's the good planet, that's it, the good planet, <laughs> I, I have a good planet, Okay. my favorite planet, my favorite planet is Earth, Okay. because I live in Earth, because I have so many homes, and so many parents, and so many children, and so many schools, so many kindergartens, and so many families. Okay, yes, yeah, that's, that's true. Everybody loves their planet! Mm-hmm.
animals are too dangerous for the moon. Believe it or not, we had a super good watermelon. Just threw the seeds out. tree is struggling a little bit so I think we need to do a better job Shout out to those generous folks looking out for us, trying to make sure we can start our shade journey. Thank you guys, we greatly, greatly appreciate it. So thankful. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you made it this far, we'd like to say thank you so much for all the positive comments, all the generosity, all the advice and tips. It is greatly appreciated. And we know we're not the first to do it, definitely won't be the last, but it's all about building that community and having that transparency to help each other out. So we greatly appreciate it.